Aboriginal TV Channel 4. Putting Aboriginal news first. The remote Aboriginal community of Galawinku on Elko Island is being rebuilt by the local residents of their own communities after the destruction of Cyclones Lamb and Nathan in 2015. Local Aboriginal workers from the Arnhem Land Progress Aboriginal Corporation subsidiary company Bookmuck Constructions have now completed nine new houses. The final house to be completed has been handed over to its new residents. We just feel happy, proud, and we need to thank to the, one of the helpers and the trainees to work for Bookmark. Yeah, and we glad to be your house now. After Cyclone, we've been moved to the, one of the Demandables, and we stayed there for uh, two years. And now we're back again now at the new house. Employees of Bookmuck Constructions have taken on local Galawinku students for work experience to complete the fencing and sprinkler systems for the newly constructed dwellings. Anti Minister for Housing and Community Development, Jerry McCarthy, said it is pleasing to see local organisations in remote communities winning contracts for housing work which line up with the anti-government remote housing plan to see local organisations deliver local jobs over the long term. Bookmark and Alpo itself and the chairperson, we're trying to talk with the housing people in Darwin and to give us more contracts you know, to, for our people. We need something that's have to be sternly, not only five or six houses and that's it. We need something ongoing. It it's creates the interest between young people to, to build, build their capacity to become capitalists in the future themselves. The contracts are really working and they are really um, supporting and um, being mentor and an educator to our a local employee, a young people. We're training these people. We're not training them to just take um, broom and sweep the floor. We are actually helping them to be a, a trained to be a good builder, you know, and that's what we are trying to do. A lot of those contractors that are working here, they've been told to try to teach these boys to take armor and sword and many other tools, you know, and to be a carpenter. And that's what we need to see how um, our young people to take that initiative. We would like to see more Aboriginal people working rather than living with, you know, those, you know, welfare mentality. The contract with Bookmark Constructions created additional partnerships with other anti-Indigenous community owned and operated businesses for the construction of five four-bedroom houses and four six-bedroom houses, creating six new full-time jobs to Indigenous Galawinku residents during the construction of the houses. Yeah, if there's more um, contract comes in, then yeah, I'd you know, love to stick around and work with the community and be a, be a role model to the kids, and so the kids can see that and go to school and then come do an experience work with this crew and then later on when they uh, finish school and then come here and say, all right, they'll come and work. And we'll, we'll be the mob that show the path way to the future and show them how it's done. Local community jobs for local community constructions. Aboriginal TV Channel 4, putting Aboriginal news first.